Hey everyone, my name's Brian. That's my brother Adam. Thank you everyone for joining us. We are hey back everyone. in Worm on our, on our deed Witchwood Vale, and we are everyone. excited to play this fine Friday evening. It's been a while since since uh since I really got into it and really got into uh, Worm. I've been busy at work. Uh, I saw that you streamed, Adam. How are you doing? Mm -hmm. I'm doing pretty good. I mean, if I could just get through one intro without it going wrong, I'd be happier. But <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so everybody, let us know exactly if you can hear us fine. You know how uh, the start of these streams always go pretty rough. <laughs> And hello, Perry Hellion, and hey, everybody Perry. else in the chat, and everybody else that's uh, that's joined us tonight. Hey, over there! Thank you so much hey, for the over hits. There. <laughs> and so yeah, last week uh, I did stream a bit. Uh, I went over yep. and visited the Twitch Memorial, which I, I kind of want to bring you uh, over to and just hang out over there. I've wanted to go there so bad. <laughs> and hey, dude, Jensen. And uh, the other thing I did was uh, I went and did a bit of um, mining because Willow had brought me over to a mine over there that has a whole bunch oh, yeah? of slate veins. Or not slate. Like, there is slate, but also sandstone. And I kind of feeling the sandstone oh, nice. for our um, storage building. You're feeling the sandstone <laughs> for, the, for the storage building? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I almost feel like, like, where would you, I want it to be in a central location between all of our buildings. Where would that be? I mean, is, is that like here? Well, it depends. Where is your building going to be? Like, where is your house question. or whatever? I almost wanted it to be maybe at the, the front. Does that make sense? Somewhere yeah. in the, but the problem is as I go further and further away, from, let's say my leather house I kind of regret thinking I, I don't want it to be so far away from the leather house but at the same time I want it to be far away <laughs> so I don't know what will win will will it be like the location that I set out that I think is is it's best for my house or is it gonna be the location that's close in proximity to my other house well, that here, I would really like to be close to. Here's what I'm thinking. I'm thinking that each kind of house should sort of like be the thing it's meant for. So like the leather house is like for the cows, right? Yeah. It kind of sounds like a factory for the cows getting turned into leather, but nonetheless. No, no, no. <laughs> it's, it's, it's where we create all the saddles. I have not made yet. <laughs> right, right. Hey, Reganation, what's going on? <laughs> um, so my okay. So I was thinking in this vicinity here, this spot. For you? No, no. Yeah, for the storage unit, for the storage oh. place. Whoops, we're getting hit by the hellhounds. Like this way, it'll be kind of in front of the leather house and the stables. We can Is that why you dug this down? That's why I dug this down. We can connect mm. it with bridges from up there. So you can take a bridge from up there yeah. right into the sort of storage house area, and we'll have to come up with some clever way to, uh, you know, have the bridges come down onto the building and then another bridge that brings us down to the ground sort of thing. Mm -hmm. That'll be fine, I think. Um, and then I was thinking I would like to claim, boy, it's very laggy today for me. I'm not sure why, but I would like to claim sure. this area over here, like this little spot. Oh, okay. Yeah. For, for my your house? house. Yeah. And I was thinking you might want to take a place that is also like also around this pond. I'm not sure, yeah. but maybe like next to the storage house on this side, I don't know, uh, looking out. And that way we'll be like the storage house will be right in the middle of us and the, and the you know, pens and the everything. It'll sort of be like a... Sure. I was, I was thinking that my house would probably just be like a small little shack. Okay. 
So many we'll see. So we'll see how that goes. Freeze here. We need to get rid of. Yeah, but so you you already went to the Twitch memorial. I don't know how many people like in the in the, the Titch oh, the Titch how many memorial people in the in chat it. the Titch memorial. Sorry. Yeah. You already went. And uh, and saw it. I I, I haven't really been. I only heard about it. Mm. I think I accidentally got close to it once okay. when I was exploring. And then I said, I, I don't really want to, uh, I don't want to explore it until we're like on stream and then I can go there. Uh, and then you went there without me. Right. <laughs> well, to be fair, that was the plan for last week. And uh... <laughs> it was the plan for last week. <laughs> You just sort of didn't, you just missed it, <laughs> is all. I completely missed it. Uh, okay, so so this will be great for me, at least, to go there and actually experience what this whole uh, Titch Memorial really is. Mm. I mean, did you talk about, or how much do we know about its creation? Well... I do know that a bunch of GMs and players were like at the heart of the creation. I know Willow, um, Silverwolf, uh, and Enki, and a bunch of other people. I'm not 100% sure of everybody's name, but those are the ones that uh, whose names are written uh, all yeah, over so the Yeah, so they imbued it with items that you can't craft in the game or, or like, I don't know, GM sort of powers mm -hmm. in that area to give it like a sense of uh i don't know larger than life right you know which i which i think is great like it, it's something that you can go visit and i had no idea i think neither of us had no idea that it was it was we basically planted our deed right next to it right <laughs> we had no idea Very close. Exactly, exactly just like not even a little bit right we heard about it like after we got to this area. Like I realized afterwards, it was sort of a hindsight realization that um, like we chose this place based on a suggestion and I, I'm pretty sure it was by Enki. Enki had made the suggestion. Uh, yeah. Like, and, and there was a bunch of people making many suggestions. So it wasn't the only one. Um, but he was just saying that, uh, you know, there's people over here in this area that would love to have neighbors. And he just pointed us to this general vicinity. So that, that was one of the suggestions. And then that was the one that we ultimately chose. You know, we chose release mostly because, you know, it's more of a remote server. It was, um, I don't know. Personally, I think it was a random choice too. But anyway, this is where we ended up. And it was... Yeah by luck that we are next to a, a, a memorial like that. So yeah, I, I would definitely recommend if, if you guys haven't actually been here or seen this memorial, this is just another reason to come to release, make an adventure here and experience this memorial we're about to go to. You know, so before we do that, you know where it is. We should probably, I, open up our beers yeah I, I think we need some 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 travel drinks here and the, uh and the yeah, other you should go first okay so today i am drinking a a stout it's called cheeky bastard stout by nickelbrook brewing company and I, cheeky I, bastard. Yeah, the cheeky bastard stout. And as you know, I've, if you've been watching us lately, I've been getting myself really deeply into these stouts. I'm really enjoying them. Um, so here's just another one. Don't think I've ever tried this one before, but we'll see how it goes. And I am. I, I think if you, if you. Uh, if you know me, once I find a drink that I like, I'll just keep buying it. And that's the case in this one. I have another 
Juicy ass. I was just about to guess. Right. Was it a juicy <laughs> ass? I knew. <laughs> yes. Even though it says 6.5% alcohol, every time I drink this one, it, I don't know, it's a little like citrusy and, and sweet. I don't know what it is, this one. Hmm. Actually, I just tried another just... one recently that is very similar. It reminds oh. me a lot of that, of juicy ass. It's called, uh, I think it's called Dead, Ele- Dead Elephant. Dead Elephant. Man. Have you tried that before? That. No. Very similar. So if you like that one, you'd probably like the Dead, El- Dead Elephant. Oh, that's good. I should look out for that. Next time I'm at the beer store. <laughs> Is this surprisingly juicy? I think the first time that I tried Juicy Ass... It was definitely surprisingly juicy. Mm. Now it's, I would say, pleasantly juicy. <laughs> would be more of what I would go for right now. Uh, it is, it is a very good beer. If anybody, if anybody goes to their uh, local beer store and and finds one of these, definitely recommend trying one. So we have a whole bunch of like goals that we want to accomplish. We are definitely not going to be able to finish them all today. Um, but one of them was I, I did want to take Brian over to the um, Twitch, uh, the Titch, yeah, let's, Titch let's Memorial. Let's do this Titch Memorial. Uh, we also wanted so to. Where are you? Yeah, let's let's we'll discuss them on the way. Uh, you know what? Yeah, this time ahead. I want to bring something along, and I think it might just be. Um, do you want to bring like just like a, some flowers or something or like? Something to, to place down at the memorial. Over there. Thank you so much for that raid. Over there. Over there. Yeah, thanks. Um, maybe, Over maybe, there. do we have some clay? Over there. Like, should we bring like a, maybe like plant pot some flowers or something? Sure. Uh, so you, you mentioned that last time you went, it, encouraged you to leave something yeah a there, token yeah there was a sign that said feel free to leave a m- memento now i wonder what that did you see other people leaving or the other thing that uh people left as mementos yeah there, there seemed to be like an idea i mean there were flowers there were right like there were random fish <laughs> lying around there were <laughs> Tons of stuff just randomly strewn about. <laughs> yeah, for the for the uh for the people that just joined from Ovary Dare. <laughs> Ovary Dare? Oh yeah, it's there's a Ovary Y there. Dare. Call me Ryder. Sure, that's a lot easier to call <laughs> you. Uh oh so, I see. It is over rider. <laughs> Got it. Over rider. <laughs> Yes, so for people that just came from uh, from Ryder's from Ryder Stream, they uh, were on our way to the Titch Memorial, and we're trying to find something to bring. Do you- I do have one flower that I put here. There's a ton of in here. flowers in the wood bulk storage bin down here. Yeah. Do you want to quickly fire up like some pottery jar, pottery bowl, um, pots? Sure. You want a couple of them? Yeah. Let's make a couple pots. I'm gonna turn on the forge. So where are the clay? It's in the it's in the bulk storage bin there. Ah, uh, found it. All right. Now, another thing that we wanted to do... This would have made a lot more sense if I had... If I thought of this before. (laughs) I know. That's okay. All right, so let me take a look. Flower pot, right? Yeah. Couple flower pots. I mean, there's so many things we wanted to do. One one idea that we, we thought, like, one thing we need for sure is a ton of bulk mats. And uh, so yeah. we're thinking, do we want to make another um, mortar making episode? <laughs> As if we haven't done <laughs> enough of those. <laughs> That's right. 
We're like, ah, what else do we need? And another thing that we need is uh, we definitely want to be making bridges sometime soon. And so uh, in order to do that, we're going to need a range pole and a dioptra. Yes. So I thought there's two items and there's two of us. So let's be fair. We'll split the items up so you can create one. I'll create one. Dioptra. Uh, I will create the not, range. Not pool dioptra. I meant range pool. <laughs> uh, <laughs> so you, you seemed really excited about <laughs> yeah. dioptra right now. I meant so, range pool. <laughs> so I, I, yeah, yeah. You can mean whatever you want. But you said dioptra, and I will, I will, you know, I'll take the range pool. Uh, I'll let you have what you want. Right. And. Uh, We'll just see. So we'll we'll try to get them both done today. <laughs> yeah. Um, and whoever manages to get it done first, right? <laughs> their, their item will will win <laughs> a special spot on the deed <laughs> for whatever we want to do. And I'm just gonna gather up all these cockaneels and hide them from you. <laughs> Oh God, <laughs> maybe I should be uh, trying to find one. Because <laughs> the one thing that we don't have and that it's going to be, it would be hard to get is um, a compass. Yeah, we, we, we dropped both of our compasses and we have not created one for ourselves. Right. So one thing that we thought but it's of... Really, it's really the... The olive oil. Like, we have no olives. Right. Or do we have olives? Well, do we have olives? No. I was in the middle of actually searching to see the um, season. Like, when when does olive season come in? Let's see here. So, it looks like... Huh... You know, somebody maybe I found olives and put them in the food storage bin. Somebody has made this lovely graphic of the worm calendar, with all of like when everything is, uh, you know, in season. The problem is, is that yeah. I can't understand the notation. Like, it's all done graphically, so it's all like images of stuff, and huh. I can't tell which one is an olive. So I'm gonna resort to. You know, I thought that this would have been the perfect opportunity to make like, our first ever almanacs. Right. And do that. So so I went and I created two almanacs mm. so that we could be able to start telling when all these seasons happen. Uh, and then I realized how almanacs actually work. Okay. I can't just create them. Yeah, you can't just like create an almanac and then <laughs> figure out whatever. So you actually have to do work and and wait for the seasons to happen and then get create like all this paper and get a reed pen, dye, and start studying and transcribing or scribing down all the different uh, all the different harvest items. Mm -hmm. And so far, we managed to get two of them. One being. Uh, oleander yep and the other one being maple which is happening right now actually i haven't quite got maple so i'm gonna have to grab that along the way oh. and so <laughs> I, I, yeah. I, I figured it would be good to show that on the stream like how to do that in case anybody's never seen how to use the almanac before sure um yeah so it's fairly useless right now at least our almanacs mm -hmm. on trying to figure out when the olive season is so I don't even know if we have all of the trees around here, do we? Uh, I'm sure there's some I think somewhere. I might have seen like one or two. Yeah, we'd have to go searching. So it turns out olive season is in the week one of the fire star starfall. Week one we are, of the fire starfall. My guess Let's is see. that we're currently in week four of the bear. It says we are in week one of the snake starfall. Oh. So maple if you do slash time. Maple must be over then. Oh no! This uh, just end. I'm going to go <laughs> and see if I can get a report for Maple. <laughs> Hopefully, it didn't end. 
Because Maple is supposed to be in the final week of the Bear Starfall, and then it's followed by... Yeah, I mean, it's just it's just 12, 12.30 in the game. So it just... Okay, I see still... Okay, so I'm going to quickly do this, because I see a... Maybe the, I love... Maybe it doesn't... Sorry. Hmm. No, it's still going. So I love how they okay. added the um, the graphical sort of cue that the the tree is in season or in harvestable. Yes, <laughs> our heart is harvestable. Yeah. So the way it works is you just right click the ground and under nature you study when it's in season. Yeah. I th I'm not sure if you need to have an almanac in your inventory in order to get the option to study, but you might need it. I'm not sure. Even if you don't, I've I never mean, noticed that option before to study it. Hmm. I mean, even if you, if you do or you don't, you can't do anything with that even after you study unless you have paper. Right. Not only paper, but you need dye. And you need a reed pen. That's true. I think there's a couple other options. You could use um, ink, which is way harder to get than dye. Um, and instead of paper sheets, you can use papyrus sheets, which is also way harder to get. <laughs> <laughs> like when they first introduced papyrus making, the, that was the, like there was no other way there was no paper in the game right so you had to i think the first iteration of of that skill was needing to get needing to get what what is it reeds right uh was it kelp no wait, maybe it was was it reed reed plants reed plants and makes the reed to... pen did it also right. make the paper Maybe it was. Let's find out. I think Reed I also makes so. paper. Okay, there the we go. The papyrus sheet, you need reed fiber, yeah, and then a press. Okay. And then you would take a reed, you'd make a reed pen. But then I can't remember if they made it so you could get dye, use dye, or if the first iteration was that you could, had to have ink. Uh, ink. Yeah, you had to have ink. It was like just ink. That I, I think that was for inscribing. Like this is way back when they first introduced paper. They introduced papyrus and reed pens and ink, and that allowed you to write on it. But you could. And they're like, well, how do, how the heck do you get ink? Yeah, the only way is to like the catch, first question that I had. Yeah, the only way was to catch an octopus or something <laughs> silly like that. <laughs> You you have to so you you need to get an ink sack an ink sack yeah which you get from killing an octopus is it killing an octopus or was it f by fishing and catching an octopus it's created by butchering an octopus right so <laughs> but, but, but I don't think there is octopus just like swimming around that you can attack <laughs> I think you actually have to catch it and it only could be caught from a special fishing spot. If I'm not mistaken, I could be completely wrong about this. Yeah, then you take that ink sack and then you you grind it in a fruit press, and then you get a little bit of black ink. See, it's enough to say that not many people were writing anything down on paper at that time. <laughs> I just remember uh, reed farms started becoming a big thing mm -hmm. at that same time. Right. Everybody was excited, but. Wait, I think. Why is that your excitement? Uh, why is your what, what happened? Um, Hell horse is up here. I guess that might be a graphical glitch. I think it's a graphical bug. I, I think it's really supposed to be in the in mine. the mine. Let, yeah. let me just check here. Pretty is it, sure. Is it moving? Hold on. Is it moving? Yeah, it's gone now. Oh no. Yeah, it's moving. There it goes. Yeah, I'm moving it. Okay. <laughs> That's okay. All right, I'm gonna make a couple At least more handy. reports. Sure. So I didn't quite show exactly how I did this last time, but the idea is this, you study, 
it takes a minute and mm -hmm. that sort of puts the knowledge in your head and then after you studied you're supposed to activate a read pen that is filled with ink so i'm going to fill my read pen with ink activate the read pen and then right click a sheet of paper now one thing that i found out is that the higher the quality of the sheet of paper the more in advance that you will be notified that that particular tree is going to be harvestable. Really? By how much? I'm not sure by how much. That's interesting. All I know is that on the Wormpedia, it mentions that the sheet of paper determines how early you get notified. So even after all of that, uh, you have to right click the almanac mm -hmm. and choose read almanac summary. Yeah. So you see now that I, hey. I have done the studying, I activate the read pen with ink in it. And when I right click the paper, it says record maple info. Yeah. And then when I finish that, it creates the maple report. Sorry, what were you saying? And all you do is the ma with the maple report is drop it into the almanac. Just drop it into the almanac. Then when you yeah. with the almanac, you read the almanac summary and you get this this screen. Yeah. Right so here. if you right click the almanac and read it, so what is what is this? So this is basically saying if it's green, then it's in season. Mm -hmm. If it's I don't I don't know, if it's orange then it just it's not in season i'm guessing times in orange are the default ones <laughs> they could probably ex elaborate on that <laughs> so this white text is from the best report does that mean you could have more than one report of the exact same mm. uh harvestable item and it'll just Maybe. Show you the best of them. Let's see, I have a higher quality oleander. Let's put it in there. Yep. And so if you read the summary again. Let's read the almanac summary again. Yeah, it does bring it from the highest. So let's take out the lower one. I see. So it's not even reading the lower one. So I don't really understand what white text is from the best report. Right. <laughs> and you have show sure. all. Show harvestable, show almost ripe. And nearly harvestable? Mm. What's the difference? What is the difference between almost ripe and nearly harvestable? Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> Doesn't that sound like the same thing? It sounds like pretty much the same thing to me. <laughs> Show almost ripe. almost I... ripe and nearly harvestable. That's weird. Maybe almost ripe means coming to the end of the season. Right. Because after things are ripe, then it goes bad. Yeah, maybe. Like when I go to nearly harvestable, it shows me the maple. But when I go to almost ripe, it shows me nothing. That's weird. Interesting. All right. Well, I do have the flower pots. Okay. And I took some flowers. So I think we're ready. All right. Let's go visit the Titch Memorial. I don't know if you noticed, but I dug a whole bunch of stuff down here on the near the pond. Yeah, what's what's up with that? So I wanted to surface mine the the rock around there so that there's like at least a one at least one tile, if not more, that's like flat down there at the bottom. Mm-hmm. Um, it does sound like something that you would do. So that sort of like acts as a landing for getting into the pond, I guess. I see. I don't know. Could park the rowboat next to it. I thought you were gonna say that you wanted to start a boat mine. <laughs> uh, I don't know. 
That does sound like something that I'd want to do. <laughs> it does. Okay, did you bring the flowers from the... I did bring a bunch of flowers. I think okay. I brought like five flowers just in case. Okay. Where did you end up going up top? So I'm up top, yeah. Okay. Oops. And I sort of know where it is. Probably could find my way, but I might as well just follow you. <laughs> okay. Is it on is it on a deed? Do you remember if there was a deed there? Uh yeah. Actually, I don't know. So I wonder what it was called. Here, I'm going to put a pizza in your cart. Okay. It's rotting away. And we need to eat that stuff. Awesome. All right, so I'm following you. Yep. All right, so another thought that came to my mind about the range pole and the Dioptra was that instead of waiting for all of seasons, yeah. what we might be able to do is create a new character and send its compass over to us. <clears throat> but can you use a newbie compass? in a dioptra see that's a good question i'm not sure about that that'd be a lot of you know wasted time well what would be wasted time is if we sat around waiting for olives to come in the season i mean we could always try to buy some olives we could or trade for olives we could trade our services. Huh. Like, does anybody want... What can I do? I can make mallets. <laughs> Mallet for some olives. Nobody wants a mallet. <laughs> mm. <laughs> Okay, Du Jensen, du Jensen says that you can use a newbie compass to make a dioptra. So it wouldn't be a waste to bring a new character here just for a compass? I don't think that we would need to bring a new character here. We just need to you don't think so? make the new character and send their newbie compass to us through the mail. Through the mail? Hmm. Well, the, I mean, the new be, the new character would be able to just be here, and whoa, we're here already. Nope, this is AD. This is not it. Nope. Oh, ooh. But there is a rare Colossus of foe. That is a crazy Colossus of foe. Yeah. Now with the new journal entries, we're gonna have to make um. Make a Colossus. Yeah, I'm been trying to get through all these journal entries, and there's just some that I, I I can't do. So remember when we first got here, we're like, we need to create a boat, right? Like a rowboat, so that we can. Uh, yeah, I think you finished it off. Yep. <laughs> Which is probably why I didn't get. Uh, I didn't get that journal entry and I still have to create another boat. So <laughs> if I even just want that to get through my third uh, tier uh, journal, I need to build an entire boat. Mm. So I'm like, Oops. it doesn't make sense to build another rowboat, even though that's the easiest one. Why would we need two rowboats? Right. So I need to build at least a, a caravel. Oh. oh, yeah, I'll just okay. goes directly to a caravel. <laughs> you just never want me to get my journal entries, do you? One day, 
one day I hope that one of these journal I don't even know, but maybe one of them will be create a caravel. Right. I don't know. At least a nar. Then I can work on that. <laughs> Catch. Yeah, a nar. I I've created a couple nars. I think I don't want to do that again. <laughs> And then the second one is to catch a large fish, which would have been a lot easier when we had all of our fishing gear. Right. Well, we're going to have to rebuild that that stuff. I want to make Of course, I got to build. I want to make a bunch of these things. The turrets. They look yeah, so cool. I mean, those are those aren't those aren't hard to make. We made a few. Hmm. Did we? The hard part is that you need to get them blast or something right i really do feel like at some point or another i'm gonna probably end up bringing one of the priests over you think so i think so <laughs> i mean you you miss it don't you i, I do miss it and, I, and and on top of that i'm feeling like we're gonna need it at some point like we're gonna be doing some mining and we're gonna need a strong waller or, or something's gonna happen, and we're gonna need something. I feel like in your mind you've already decided who you're gonna bring. Well, <laughs> it's obvious which one. You're already if, like, if I'm gonna bring it one, it may as well be the Najo. <laughs> That's the most versatile. I, well, it says I need to make some wine, which is great because I was planning on making wine. Mm. Because it's one of the things that I never did before. Uh, and then the other one here says, oh, hold on. You hear bees. Mm -hmm. One of my things is to open up. Where is it? Is there a Open natural... a wild beehive. Is there a wild beehive? Do you see one? Yeah, yeah, but we don't have a smoker. You're just asking but for trouble. I w would I be able to open it or do I just get hurt? Oh, you'll get hurt. But I won't get. I will, it won't open. It'll open. Know. Like I'll be hurt. fine if I get hurt, as long as it opens. Okay. <laughs> you're 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 I right. Can heal. It it it's gotta be around Don't here somewhere. See it. Follow the sound here. It's disappearing this into the way. distance. It says you hear bees. So somewhere over here. So I've gone one way and it disappeared and then I went another way and it disappeared. The bee noise is getting louder. Okay, I guess I'm going the right way. Oh, found it. Okay. All right, here we go. You ready with the cotton? You, you go first. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Oh god, it just hurt me. It didn't open at all. Ah, I'm I'm getting attacked by an anaconda. <laughs> it it didn't open? It didn't open. I just got hurt. Where is it? I was standing under it. Oh there it is, I see. <laughs> Do you think it's a chance that it might open? The beehives get angry just... and defend. Yeah, I guess you need a smoker to open it. Uh, I'm killing this anaconda, well, though. Another thing that we'll have to do. Let's see, do I have my gear on? I do have my gear on. Okay. I might need help with this you thing. You need help? I might need it. I don't know if I have my stuff. Let me see. I should There's be okay. And I did bring some cotton, so... Okay. Pretty sure I'll be okay. Not entirely sure I have my sword on me. Hmm. I thought I did. Like you don't have any weapons Not on you? Doesn't look like it. Huh. Well, I found a small axe. <laughs> And your skill in small axe is... <laughs> nothing. It's nothing. <laughs> That's okay. Oh, oh, I think I found it. I found my huge axe. Well, just in time we to watch it die. Just in time. <laughs> Let me see if I can hit it. I missed. We are so grateful for 
Ah, uh, you killed it. The donation <laughs> of... What's it called? These huge axes. Who was it yes. that gave it to us? It was, uh... Was it Re... Well, the... It was a particular, uh... Person, and I had specifically taken a screenshot of the mail so right. that I could remember the name. Okay. And then quite quickly lost the screenshot <laughs> somewhere on my computer. <laughs> like, uh. it was really quick. I don't understand how I lost. So, again, I put it in a spot that I thought, I'm going to keep it in this folder because I know exactly where it is and it'll be very easy for me to find it later. And then I lost it. And then it wasn't in that folder when you went to look for it. It's just like, <laughs> I'm like looking in these folders and I'm like, this, this it must be in this folder. This is called worm. It's not in this one. <laughs> and then I realized I have like, you know, four or five different folders all with the name worm. Hmm. And it's not in any of them. I thought maybe my desktop is not on my desktop. I don't know. Was it? Narayas? I think I'm slowly learning that I'm not good with files. I now have a mail notification. Was that you, Do Jensen? Oh, no, wait, a writer? Was it you, writer, who was saying that you... Was it you, writer? Us? You said, I could send you one, but I don't remember exactly what we were saying when you said that. Was... Compass. Was it a compass we or was it compass. a bee smoker? Or olives. Or olives? <laughs> could be <I> olives. <laughs> oh, compass. Compass, okay. yes. <laughs> um, wait, it's not in there. It's this way. Not in there. Oh, look at all these olives. Yeah, olive trees, yeah. It looks like a lot. I do mean olive trees. It looks like a lot, but it's not a terrible not <laughs> Well, at least it's some. It's some. Like, we could pick some sprouts. It would be good to at least know where they are so that we can, uh, so we can get the uh, olives, olive uh, report. Oh, here we are. So, fantastic sign dedicated to our friend Titch. Here we go. Yeah, okay, nice. so one thing I noticed is that there's a Supreme oh. Colossus of the Nora. Wow. Right in the middle of the water there. And it's indicating this, you know, map square that we're on. So we're at K25 for anyone that wants to join us. Somebody is asking for Just come on by a PC, like a price check on a pickaxe imp to 98 quality. To improve an already existing pickaxe to 98 quality? Now, or to create a pickaxe? I don't know. Probably to, to buy. Probably to improve their pickaxe. I, could only I, I always wondered, like, as a blacksmith, so you're, you, you could potentially take this order. Uh, if you. <laughs> like, I'm, I'm just saying, like, you have the skills necessary right. to do what this person wants if you wanted to, which I don't. So looking at that, if it was a pickaxe that the person wanted to be upgraded to 98, would you be charging more for the improvement than selling him a pickaxe that's 98 quality probably not because with the selling of the pickaxe of a 98 quality pickaxe be more money or less money than an imping his already created pickaxe well assuming that i had imped that other like pickaxe much, to 98 yeah how much is the material worth to you the material is not worth anything to me yeah really. because that's really the only difference isn't it no no because if i sell him a pickaxe that i already imped to 98 that means i put yeah. in the same amount of material into that pickaxe than i would have to put into his to imp him to 98 but you also put in material to 
craft it. Yeah, well, the, the material to craft it is like like garbage material. You could just like take some ten so quality even... ore and. So would you consider? Here, here, here's my imping. here's my guess. My guess is that this is like his high quality, rare or supreme sure, pickaxe like with the views and enchants and whatever. And he just wants right. to imp it back up to 98 because he probably had it at 98 at some point. So it would be the same price to you. Is that what I'm hearing? Yeah, it'd be the same. Because it doesn't matter. The cost is not in the materials, but it's in the time. It's in the time. Because I wonder how people think, like when they're saying, I want this Im improved. Do people feel like it should be less money than if you're selling me a brand new one? Right. Now I have improved. But you're thinking no, it should be the same. Yeah, it's price. the same. It's the same price, I think, because it, it's really a matter Even of. If it was like, how about if it's like ninety quality? Well, ninety quality is like. See, to improve hey, something. To... Here, here's the thing: it's all about time. It's nothing to do with materials, because the materials is free. I can walk over to a, a vein and just mine and get the materials for free. Wait, we're attacking. Somebody's attacking something. Some, something's attacking me, so now I have to find the. Okay. Just want to make sure. <laughs> the stuff I just. Oh, it's a champion off bear. My body. A champion bear. It's gonna kill you. <laughs> and if I could find my armor group, I would be putting it on <laughs> right now. There we go. You might want to run. And if I could find. <laughs> and if I could find my. Are you alive still? You're not like you're wounded. <laughs> Huge axe, which for some reason put in my cart instead of on me. Right. Okay, this I'm back in business. Okay, I'm fifty percent health, but I'm back in business. Right. <laughs> like a ninety Got quality it. takes me with my like high quality gear that I don't have anymore. And with like you know yeah. all WA stuff like making it go really fast, um, ninety quality pickaxe is probably in the vicinity of twenty five minutes. Twenty five minutes from like creation to ninety. All right, so now ninety to ninety eight. Ninety to ninety eight is probably four hours. Four hours in that vicinity. It, it's probably wow. it's it's hours. It's hours and hours of just going to town on it. <laughs> yeah. So you would not like the price difference of a ninety quality imp versus a ninety eight quality imp. Now I, I shouldn't say that materials is nothing. Because 98 quality materials is not nothing. Like there is some, there is some value to the fact that it's not that easy to get 98 quality stuff, but it's way mm -hmm. easier now than it ever was before. Once imbues were created, once they added imbues right. to the game, it just became like kind of a joke in comparison to what it was before to get a hundred quality materials and hey Hackett, welcome to the stream. Yeah, hey Hackett. We're just discussing prices because I've always wondered how you blacksmiths price your stuff. Like here's the thing, you have a skill that would allow you to improve something to ninety eight. And I think that's your carpentry, yeah. right? But I've never been a like a merchant like you. Right. But but nonetheless you could potentially take your mallet for your own personal use and improve it up to 98 if you wanted to, just to make it better. Sure. Have you ever done that? I've never done that. <laughs> <laughs> I think I think I've managed to get to hmm, 97. Okay, 97 the is the highest I did. 97 is actually pretty high. Um, but the trip from 97 to 98 is just so grueling. <laughs> yeah, I never, I never thought about it when I was imping my own hatchet at the time. Uh, I was probably doing something else at the same time. So the time, whoa, what was that? Did it? Yeah. It's, uh, there are sound cues all throughout oh, wow. here. Okay. 
Okay. So I didn't like accidentally trip something. No. Oh, I guess I did. Well, yeah. yeah. <laughs> you tripped the trigger. So why are the rose trellises are harvestable? Are they? Interesting. Is rose okay? I can study the rose. Here's a question. We the can study the rose. Fences in the way. Nice. Study. Okay, there we go. Now, is it only harvestable because trellises have different harvest seasons? Hmm. And if that's question. the case, does it make it easier to get all of the stuff from a for your almanac by making trellises? Yeah, I don't know. Let me see. What does the What does the wiki say about when rose is in season? It says rose is in season during the bear starfall week three. We're in the fire starfall. Wait, what are we in? Yeah. No, we're in we're in the I mean we're gonna find out really soon. Slash if time. I could at all we're in week one of the oh, snake. There's the die. It's possible that the um, the wiki's not right. You know, like. Well, I mean, it's, it's true. It's, what happened to my I die? I did get a rose report, putting it in the almanac. This says that roses are harvestable. So it does follow. Cord rose info. And it's going to be. It's going to end one week, six days. And it started a week and five days ago. Okay. So let's see that. I see. Interesting. So, yeah, you can't really go by the, uh, the wiki, I guess for the har harvesting seasons. Hmm. I also wondered last time that I came up here, what's up with this trellis that's sort of tilted? Where? Do you see the the trellis there? Oh, the rose trellis? Yeah. It's like slave. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> that's really cool. I wonder if it would be cool if we could like actually plant them ourselves. Mm-hmm. There it goes again. Yeah, there it goes again. Now, there's a bunch of stuff nice. in here that you can examine. How many times? Do you think there's a specific amount of times that bell's ringing as we go up? Like, they program the exact number, and should we, like, figure out what that number is? I don't know. But another thing I found out... How many times? Four? Four times so far? Willow mentioned. I think it's just there's a certain number of trigger points. Yep. Now, another thing uh, Willow mentioned was that these bridges are named after Titch's deeds. Oh. So Rockcliffe Horizons Independence and Rockcliffe Cathedral on Independence. At Titch. Stat. I mean, it's it's a colossus of Titch. It's a colossus it's of Titch. A yeah. Giant. A fantastic the one and only Colossus of Titch. Mm -hmm. There it is. There it is. Fishing off of a mountain. Yep. That is awesome. There's also a statue of a boy here that if you examine it, uh, gives you a little message. Dream Master. Where does it say Dream oh. Master? <laughs> when, you, when you mouse over the boy. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Thank you, Titch. You are a beacon of possibilities that shine over everything you do, we do. You broadened our horizons with your gifts, and you taught us and guided us through troubled times. Thank you for making so many dreams possible. Thank you, Titch. Do you know That's who nice. Dream Master is? I wonder who Dream Master is. Because I know who Dream Master is. Is that a GM? It is a GM. 
It is the head GM. The head GM. So Dream Master, is that Enki? That is Enki. Yeah. Enki. That's awesome. Yeah. And Enki, Enki was dropped by last week um, on the stream. He was hanging out. Oh, really? Yeah. While you were here? Yep. There's another one. Another bell. I'm hearing a whole ton of bells. Oh, there's also another up this one. hidden one. Uh, you see that willow tree? No. That's against the cliff there? Oh, yes. Yeah. So hidden inside of the willow tree is a statue. I see. That willow put there. It says, miss you, love willow. Yeah. Oh, there's there's, a... there would be no way for me to get there. No, you can't get there. <laughs> There's a wildcat here somewhere attacking me. Yeah. Where is it? Oh, I see it. Anything on this one? No. This lamp here seems to have a blue color. Yeah. And it's made by Alikin. So I've been up to the top there. It's sort of a dead end. That gate doesn't oh, open. Oh, wow, so. about this way? Yeah, this is the way to go. Wait, wait, gate doesn't open. But up at the yeah, top. Let's kill this bear. Oh, there's a bear. Question is, if I... No, oh, still got my stuff on. All right, I'm going to try the gate. Yeah, it's a it's a pretty much a dead end. Hmm. I just received but it the title does show us. Axeman. Because my oh, nice. axes skill just hit fifty. Ah, <laughs> oh, if only this tree wasn't here. I'd be able to see the The statue. The statue of the Colossus a little better. Well, from here I can see it. It looks, yeah, it looks really cool. So in in this area, there's like a ton of little hidden gems. Let's do it. And you you can find them by examining. Just examining stuff, and stuff will happen. So is this a deed? Are we on a deed? I'm not sure, actually. We're not on a deed. It doesn't seem like a deed, but I think the whole place is protected I'm, in terms of... I hope so. Yeah, there's no decay on anything. This was completely made by Willow, so that's cool. Yeah. Willow, I think, was one of the main contributors. Uh, Silverwolf as well, and Enki as well. Uh, and and I getting a lot of bell sounds. Yeah, lots of bell sounds. There is one though that's not a bell in there, at least one that I found. There Whoa. it is. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know what that is? Can you hear that? Yeah. Do you know what that is? That's the gnome song. That's the gnome song. <laughs> yep. Oh my god. Apparently so, Twitch yeah. hated it. <laughs> Apparently. And begged Rolf well, to think get rid of it. Everybody hated it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the uh yeah, when when the gnomes were first introduced, when you right clicked it and you used it, yeah. it would play that song. It would play that song. For everybody to hear. Like no time limit. You could you could Spam it as much as you want. Mm-hmm. Just like this, right? Yep. Just over and over <laughs> again. 
<laughs> and now when we talk, you can not really hear what we're saying. <laughs> Does it get quieter if you go further away? Yeah, let me see. I, I'm not sure if I have my volume set nicely so for everybody to hear that. Can you guys hear that I can't in even the chat? Hear anything? I'll t I'll turn up the in-game sounds. Wait, go ahead. Okay. Now it'll be really loud. Like I can hear the wind pretty loudly now. <laughs> there it is. <laughs> ah! Oh. Is it louder now? How will we know when it's time? It doesn't get any quieter when, when I walk away from it. <laughs> I wonder if anybody in local Happy Christmas to all world hears it. <laughs> Maybe the start of it, uh, depending on where you're standing, will will uh, will will take on that proximity. Yeah. Maybe. So was that it? There's there's nothing else when I examine. Other than some bells. I think there's some, um, yeah, it's just some bells. And the hidden gnome. <laughs> Whoa. You know, the the game sounds are so loud for me through these earphones. Uh, oh, yeah. That I normally have it set to one out of a hundred. Oh, wow. And I can, I can hear everything pretty nicely. Uh, currently, I turned it up to six so that people can hear it. <laughs> But I feel like six is just way too loud. <laughs> Do you have a separate, a uh, separate volume you can just use for yourself? Maybe. I I just I prefer to make it so that it's nice sounding to me, and I'm pretty sure that that will make it properly sounding to everybody else. <laughs> I put it to three, and that's a sort of like some middle ground. That's good. Um. <laughs> yeah, so you can kind of see why they decided to remove the gnome songs. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> because anyone could spam it at any time. Right. <laughs> Forever and ever. So this, the, there's a fountain over here that I've heard the backstory of. Wow, this is really cool. This, this fountain down here? Mm-hmm. Sleep bonus fountain. Really, sleep bonus fountain? Yeah, I don't think that it actually gives you sleep bonus, but but it sounds like it gives you sleep bonus. If you examine it, whoa! It gives you the rare roll sound, and it says, "Keep trying, ping pong." Which apparently <laughs> what? Keep trying, <laughs> ping pong. Is because ping pong kept <laughs> bugging Titch to add a fountain to the game that gave you sleep bonus when you drank from it. <laughs> really? <laughs> yeah. He kept bugging her about that. <laughs> it would be really cool if there was like a little, a little game where you could play, where if you like flipped a coin in it in the in the fountain. It would give you a chance at something, mm. like sleep bonus. For some reason, though, Courier has been cast on this fountain. Wait, so if you examine it, I can hear the... Here, let's see. The rare roll. I'm going to put in a copper coin, like five copper coin into this sleep bonus fountain and okay. see what happens. Because... It has courier on it, and it is named a wishing well. So let's see what happens. That would destroy the liquid. Okay. Ah. Uh. So I guess not. That doesn't make sense. Normally. So if I examine it. Do you? Will you hear the rare roll? I'm gonna examine it okay. right now. Go ahead, examine it. Yeah, I hear it. That's pretty cool. All right, let's go up here. Oh, 
Oh, they they didn't make it so you could sit on these lounge chairs, eh? No, no. But I'm when I get close to here, is it like consistently you hear that ting 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 uh blacksmithing yeah. yeah sound? Yeah. So you see how like there's a ton of random stuff all like all over here? Yeah. There's like a rare cat's eye, there's a large metal like a large uh, mall. These are yep. all items that people have dropped off here. Oh. Right? All the stuff on this table. The range pole and the diopetra. Although, I, I, I don't know, actually. It could be. Oh, yeah. So this one was secured to the ground by Anil. Um, some of these items might actually be Titch's own items. I'm not sure. Oh, really? Yeah, I'm not sure exactly for sh like, but um, but some of them are most likely um, things that people have put down here. This wow. supreme cart here, in my, is, is actually Titch, Titch's cart. This is actually Titch's supreme cart because. The owner is etched, and it's Titch. It's a 92 really cool. quality Supreme cart, <laughs> and it was made by Titch as well. It's an imbue. <laughs> yep. So it says, activate the coin, right-click the wishing well, and select wish. Oh, OK. Oh, yeah, do Jensen, thanks. Who is Titch? That's a good question. Oh, let's go back to the beginning. Yeah. Ooh, I can wish. Why do we have this giant GM memorial for Titch? Mm. So Titch. Titch has been a long-standing player of the game who a very, very long time ago became a volunteer dev. So she was developing the game. Um, and I would have to say that of all the volunteer devs that have come and gone and have, you know, she, she has contributed probably the most in terms of adding systems to the game that are so much, like, contain the essence of Worm. So one of the biggest updates that she made was the entire cooking update. So like adding beehives and honey, the whole honey system, the the yep. new cooking system that we have today in the game, um, with recipes, with all the recipe, all the recipes, the and 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 that came with a bunch of other side things. Like aside from there was the honey, there was also like beverage making and the beer and all that stuff. Like that whole system was Titch's Titch's system that she developed and made. Um, yep. she also made the highway system. So with the cat's eyes and all that, uh, with the Wagoneer, that was hers. Um, she also was the one who did bridges. So she, yep. she, she did bridges completely. <laughs> like she figured out how to make bridges. Um, what else did she Here's do? Here's one. Actually, yeah, you should finish. Uh, she, she's done a lot of stuff. The, she did the overhaul of the permission system. Oh, yeah. The, yeah, the new permission system that we have today, uh, which solved a ton, to her. ton of issues. Uh, it solved so many I issues. I can't remember if she did underground buildings. Yep. Uh, did she do underground buildings? I think so. Yeah, I know 99% of the stuff in the game, yeah. So underground. She did a lot of the big stuff. Actually, oh, and there's of a course, sign up here. Okay, yeah. Of course, the she did a vast majority of the new fishing update. Oh, and yes, that was yes. like her fi final, uh, so her, her final uh, feature update that she was working on before she basically passed away from, as far as I know some kind of cancer yeah so it says on this sign here that she did implement cave buildings oh nice okay so, so she did this, a... this will tell us who is titch so 
This is a memorial. This memorial is dedicated to the accomplishments of Titch, who added much to our lives and our world that surrounds surrounds you, including bridges, highways, cooking, permissions, beehives, trellises, cave buildings, wagoners, cave, cave buildings, buildings again, again <laughs> because that's just an amazing thing that she added. Uh, paving, terraforming options, the almanac. So we've been we've been using the almanac this whole time, and she she created that. Yeah. Uh, new resources. So I'm assuming that's like sandstone, marble. Yeah. All the all the resources we didn't have, and you know, much more. Much more, I would say. I can think of at things least we two things that are not on this list that she added. One of them is the, you know how now cave entrances can be double wide. Yeah. And triple wide. Yeah, she added that. Um, and the other one is underground bridges. Because remember, they added underground awesome, buildings, yeah. and then there was like a long time before you could actually build bridges underground. But the moment yeah. that we were able to add underground bridges, that just opened up everything underground. <laughs> it made It made building underground just like insane <laughs> that's when you started actually planning the, uh, the labyrinth yeah. the underground section of the yeah um and that says like please feel free to stay a bit and enjoy the view and talk about your favorite memories of titch with those around you uh and there's one so we didn't know titch on a personal level we, we've heard about Titch through like the, the news updates and all that stuff yep. and stories from other people. We knew people that knew Titch. Uh, but there was one time and I, I don't know if, if I if I talked to her, but it was a request specifically from her to me. Back okay. in let's say 2013. Okay. And and I completely forgot about this. So she, at the time, and I I don't remember the whole story, but I was I was up. This is when I was updating the the emotes, so the the voices in the game. All right. And she was at the time working on bridges. Okay. And there was an emote, and the, the guy, I think the original emote was something like, uh, you, you know the emote now that says like, hey, over here. The guy said something else. It was something, and the girl said something like, it, wasn't, it had an extra like word or something in it. Hmm. I can't remember exactly what it was like. Hey, look over. Not look over here. It was something that, in, that indicated more than just to look over there. It, it, it's like, like come over here. Some something that, that like ended up changing the sort of meaning of that emote. Mm. And she was like, she basically said, "Could you make it this instead? Could you? Because I want to use it for bridges." Hmm. to indicate that the you the person the second person should be looking at that uh first person so that they could uh so when they hear it they they're supposed to just like face them right so that's why that emote changed to hey over here hmm. or whatever it is over here yeah that one yeah, that one <laughs> That voice sounds familiar. Hey, yeah. <laughs> so, anyway, you, you don't have to play it again. It's okay. <laughs> um, <laughs> so that's why the call emote, it says just, hey, over here. And that's the only time that I uh, remember somewhat conversing with Titch on a 
worm kind of development level. Mm. And I forgot about that too. I forgot that she was the one that uh, that wanted that emote. I remember there was a there was an episode where Retro came onto our show, and I think it was the one where we were. Oh, sorry, Hackett. I, I saw that question. I just forgot about it. Where on the map are we? We are on release server, and it's somewhere in the vicinity of K or L. What is that? Twenty. I thought that uh, that statue told us. Yeah, yeah. It said K. It said, say? it said K twenty five. Oh wow, it's so far away. But I'm pretty sure we're on. We're in like this actual place is on L twenty five. But it's somewhere in that vicinity. L twenty five, K twenty five. Yeah, somewhere like you see how there's that V shaped sort of cove. Mm -hmm. Okay, it's like we're on the south side of that. Yeah. Um. So we were on. We did a stream where we were doing retros, uh, Midsummer Nights event. It was a that's right maze or something. That was like a really that. that was a really nice one. Yeah, it lasted forever. Kind I of. Know. And I think I was sick. Was I sick that? Was that the one that you were sick on? Yeah, I can't remember. We'll have to go back and look at that. I was sick in one of them. Yeah, that was a long while ago, but um, I kind of remember. Like we were just talking about. I don't know why we got on this topic, but just getting devs to come on. And I remember thinking like, and mentioning that the dev that I would want to come onto our show is Titch for sure. Yeah. Because, I do remember that. Cause at the time I was like, she's like the superstar dev. She's brought in bridges. She's brought in like this. It just keep everything she touches just turns to gold. I do remember you saying that. I kind of remember, and I don't know if it happened on the episode or not, that the response to that was that she was very shy or somewhat self-conscious or something. Like, mm. she, there's a reason why she didn't want to come on to our show. Mm. It was something like, you know, she was... like, And I completely understand that... Uh, that overwhelming urge to not be in front of the camera or <laughs> right yeah because that's a feeling i know well <laughs> uh, like an overwhelming butterfly in your stomach sort of feel. yeah <sighs> and i i guess that that was my understanding as to why she never really came or became like a streamer or somewhat public in any way mm. just sort of like in the background i'm gonna water these plants because they are <laughs> they are dying talking about plants right we do have our plants Man. It doesn't seem like I'm so able Serene to. So Serene said, I am a neighbor of Titch on release, and I was you were a villager on her other server deeds, and she was very kind, and yeah, she was shot. She loved building highways even more than... <laughs> <laughs> Well, I mean, it, you can kind of tell she completely made the highway system and wanted really badly to create the fishing update. Yep. Two things that she loved. It seems like uh, I can't water these plants so that it reduces the damage because it'll say you successfully... Let's see what it says. You it successfully work, watered the it? flowers. They look healthier, and it didn't actually change the damage. Okay, sweet. All right, let's do this. I will plant some orange and red flowers. Okay. Okay. <laughs> 
<laughs> she she bred only jet black horses. <laughs> That's kind of funny. I am going to put my flower pot, if I'm allowed here, under the bridge. Don't forget to rename it. I'll put mine with yours. We'll put them together. Doesn't look like we can secure these or anything like that, so. Like that? Yeah. No, that's okay. We can let, um. We can let Willow know, soon. and she said that she would come by and protect it for us. Okay. Tell her under the bridge at the top. Love how the top building's called Gone Fishing 2018. She did breed only jet black horses and she gave them hidden speed bonus. I've heard about those hidden speed bonuses. <laughs> Do any of those horses still exist and can we f have one? It's the, the jet black ones. Uh, in fact, um, <laughs> Silver Wolf. Just all of them have a hidden speed bonus? Yeah. yeah. You get a jet black. Oh, uh, so I thought she she gave her own horses. One thing I noticed afterwards, I didn't notice at the time, but when Silverwolf gave us, she said she was going to give us a breeding pair of uh, horses. One of them was a jet black. Oh. Yeah, it was. Um, it's the female, so we ever... it's a good chance that it'll pass it on. Yeah, I don't. <laughs> and Hackett, you say she sounded like a wonderful woman. Sounds like she definitely left her mark in this game. Absolutely. Totally left her mark in the game. Yeah. I mean, she was a longtime player way before us, before she became a, a dev. Yeah. Actually, Willow told me of the story of this uh, Marlin that's on the floor here. Yeah. Uh, apparently, she, she couldn't catch a Marlin, no matter how hard she tried. <laughs> And it wasn't until after that she caught this one. Oh, wow. I think. I could be wrong. Um, actually, this is, it tells you actually exactly when she caught it. In 1081. What's the year now? 1083. Yeah, so it's not that long ago that this one was caught. What's, how long is a worm year? I don't know. <laughs> it's like an eighth of a year, right? So it's like a uh, yeah, yeah. So this would this would have been after. This would have been after for sure. After yeah, uh, yeah. It's crazy. I'm gonna repair some of these. That seems like another bear is after us. Is is it? Is that right? Yeah, there he is. Wonder what the hidden speed trait is, and if yeah, it would be really hard to I, start making them. I think it's <laughs> my, minor enough that I don't think it's noticeable. Like I, I've read, you know, like all those people who do tests on horse speeds and like horseshoes and all that stuff like that. Yeah. So the same people did a similar test to try to see if the jet black has a speed trait. Um, and they couldn't definitively say one way or the other. So like, it must wow. be minor okay. enough that it's hard to tell. I've always wanted to make one of these shrines. It's like we made a bunch of the other epic items. Right. Never created the shrine. Never created the other one that had the skulls on it. Right, like the big temple? Was it called a temple? Never created the giant temple. Yeah. We, we should make one of these shrines on our current deed. I think it would fit really nicely. Yeah, I think so. I just don't remember how to start one. 
I think you Have need... they made it easier? No. I think it needs no. to be one of the missions. Have to be active. So the mission has to be active. And then you have to go to the place. One. <laughs> <laughs> like it'll say, build a shrine in the northeastern regions of the server or something like that. So you got to go <laughs> and you have to make like a flat nine, like a three by three or five by five. You have to make a flat. But if anybody's created, <laughs> just just put it an unfinished item together, unfinished version. Right. So you can't... If, and if they're mailable. I don't think you can build them on Deed, but I think you can push them onto Deed after they're finished. Right. That was the same with uh, with the other one that we made. Obelisk. The other two that we made. The obelisk, the obelisk yeah. and the pillar. Yeah, the pillar. So, so you make it off Deed, but then you push it on to Deed. I think that works. All right. So I think that's it for the... Now this is really, really cool. And yeah. just to highlight the reason why that gnomes no longer uh, have us a song. When one gets no this is why. <laughs> this is why. <laughs> yep. Ooh, I made an 88 quality cat pelt. Which is quite impressive considering my butchering knife is only 35 quality. <laughs> I think it's a 0.4 kilometer bonus. Yeah, yeah, it's like such a tiny little bonus that with all the speed boosts and like you know it's look at how far we are from that uh from colossus yeah the Colossus of venora venora yeah yep now one thing we could do is go look for some zinc in the mine that's over here because this mine is like extensive yeah let's do it and we definitely need zinc if we want to make a dioptra we do yeah. have copper and tin on our deed that I've uncovered. I just haven't found any zinc. What is that little thing sticking out of the... It must be something from below? Yeah. Can you highlight it? That would mean that you could push all those shrines who are standing off deed around. Um, I think you have to be the creator of it. Yeah. In order to push it. So, so yeah. You know, I was thinking like this, this could look like more like a, a dock if you at the very end put planks down. Maybe there's a reason, because the planks are surrounding the gravel or the dirt. The dirt, it's dirt, right? Maybe there was a plank there. Maybe. And it rotted away. D does it rot away? I guess there. If nobody it goes on it. Does if it's if uh, if there's no tar on it. Oh. So you're saying that the mine here is still owned by someone? I don't think so. I, I'm pretty sure this is like a kiosk, a tunnel. Oh, that goes so maybe very far. It's a different. Yeah, this is a tunnel. Is this what you were talking about, Serene? This tunnel. Right, Kios. I, so I was told that Kios plays on this area. Um, okay, it ends on your place. I know that it... Yeah, so Willow was mentioning, like, that... That people still play on this area. Um, that it's not technically a public mine. Um, she did say that people wouldn't mind if I, like, grabbed some sandstone or something. Because there is, like, a ton. A ton of sandstone and a ton of slate in here. Also a ton of iron. 
Um, and a but lot not of zinc. Uh, <laughs> I can't remember. There might be a zinc. Like we really do, like in terms of zinc, we need like not much at all. Very little. Just enough to make a, a dioptra. And I think that it it should be okay if we just grabbed a bit. It's an extensive mine, and I'm sure there's a, a ton of resources in here. Well, let's try to find it. So you have some sandstone caved in. Yeah, you're right. There is a lot of sandstone. Yeah, it's just all over the place, and it's not even... Like, we haven't even touch the surface of this place like um willow showed me around in this deed uh in, in this uh not deed this mine oh path to serene there you are um <laughs> and we almost got lost in here at least i i felt lost how many different directions are there <laughs> i don't know it's not that many but it's far Like at one point, it felt like I was going up in a zigzaggy sort of way. <laughs> like you, well, you think, nothing yet. Yeah, you'd think with all this that you would see at least like some. A couple different kinds. Different other than sandstone, but there's just sandstone all over the place. Like here's another sandstone. Well, there's a cave bug. We can get some more cochineal. Do we need more? We don't need more, but I, I, I've been. I want to start dye making again at some point. Yeah. <laughs> so I could use more. I should get myself a better butchering knife. Okay, there's some. Oh, that's. I thought that was marble. Ooh, boat mine. Rock salt. Wait, boat mine? Okay. Um, just give me a second before you go too far. I'm gonna go this way, just to see if there's anything down here. Okay. Nope, doesn't look like it. Maybe I should really be putting on... Oh, right, I don't, I don't have a torch. Oh, right, me neither. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to my boat mine, there you go, yeah. It's a cool little boat mine. Hmm. There's lots of different ways to go from here, I think. Uh-oh. Oh, there you are. Right, this is where I started feeling lost, right? Like, we gotta remember which way to go back. Yeah. <laughs> Again, sort lots of, remember. of iron. But <laughs> this way, I kind of remember there was another path that went this way. Right, here it is. Huh. And then it just, oh wait, was it here? Maybe it wasn't here. Nope. There was another path. Unless it collapsed. Oh, it's just the other day. Maybe it was this way. No, this was the way we came? That is the way we came. It's this way that we didn't go yet. Oh no, that can't be the way we came. Yeah, that way is to Serene's place. Actually, this is just cave-in. Yeah, yeah, I'll show you. Yeah, that, that way was not the way we came because we came from, you know, on the other side of that water. Right, we came from that way. Yep, yep. But there's Wait, a, are you trying to go back to where a we path. came? No, no, no. There's a path right over here that goes this way. Wait, where did you go? Yeah. Just looking around. So you think it's that way? I'm pretty sure that this way just keeps going. Okay. Look at all this iron. There's like a ton of it. <laughs> just need one. 
one sink vein. I haven't seen any copper or tin or zinc. Or... <laughs> Wait, there's zinc. There's zinc. There's two zincs. Oh, we did it? Found it. We found a zinc. Nice. Yeah, still in carts. We haven't gotten any wagons. That is another thing that I would like for us to work <laughs> on. We're gonna... Serene's going to find two skeletons in her mind still in carts. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I see what you're saying, yes. Yeah. Right, and then from here, there's like multiple ways to go. Ooh, ooh. I have another cave. Oh, here's the cave bug. I'll take the meat. All right, so you are the miner. So, yep. Depending on. Oh wait, you can't bury like that in a mine. You have to bury using a pickaxe. So we have acceptable quality and good quality. Um, it doesn't really. Oh wait, dioptras. Oh, there's more. The dioptras. This one is... The quality matters, right? Acceptable. Does the quality of a di dioptra affect anything? Like the length of the bridge? Not sure. Okay, well... Go ahead. Let's see. You said one was a good one? What's... Yeah, this one that yeah. you're closest to. Okay, well, let's take something the good one. It has above 5,000 actions in it. And we'll see separate the, some uh, of the good quality. We'll separate the good quality from the not so good. Okay, it looks like it's capped at 65. Okay. So I should be okay to mine a little bit. Although pretty sure like all i have is 61 quality pickaxe that's okay i'm gonna look up the like how much we actually need for a di dioptra okay a dioptra seems to be pretty small and a okay. protractor needs 0 0.05 brass lumps which is like nothing that's like tiny like five no, I think that when you combine know. when you combine one copper so with you... one bronze, I think you get point 0.1. Okay. Something like that. So that's for the protractor. What's the other one? The site? The site needs bronze. Yeah. Okay, so that's yeah, that. Yeah, which is different. So you need, we need 0.5, oh, like, 0 0.05. It almost feels like we don't need much. The only thing would be if we want to improve the Dioptra. So in that right. situation, we need like a bunch of br brass. Mm. Oh, wait, but it says you improve with bronze. So never mind. Okay, never mind. <laughs> so we don't need that I many think, of these. I think we have... I think like, we're okay. Yeah, yeah, I think we're okay. Oh, yeah, we have more than enough. Okay, let's let's just leave it at that. But how much 65 quality do we have? We'll just grab all the 65. We have enough. There's 19 pieces that are 65 quality. Hey. And there's a couple more because you're not stopping. And we'll just clean this up. I'll put this in another one. Do we need access to your forges? Uh, I think we'll be okay. Yeah, I think we'll be okay. We've, We've got, got all the other stuff we need. Large crates. We can make our way back, right? So now let's make our way. Uh, uh, hmm. There's four ways to go now. I can't this remember way. which way. I think it's that. Yeah, I, I agree. So yeah, just. Are just... you sure you agree? I'm just. I'm just <laughs> kind of randomly places. 
an obscene amount of sandstone though in here, eh? Like, and if you keep going yeah. down one of those paths over there, there's a room that has like five slate veins or something. Wow. So if we need slate, um, it's, we could probably grab some from there. I think we're okay at the moment. Yeah. Like when, if if ever we think, hey, we should make us this building out of slate. Yeah. The one thing I haven't found is marble. I saw one marble vein. Okay. In here or somewhere else? Not really much. Yeah. We'll pass it in the this tunnel. Usually, where there's one marble vein, there's more, like around in the area. So maybe it's a matter of just opening it up. I mean, there was... There was the one deed that we that we deeded just for the marble. Right, because there was on deliverance. like 20 marble veins. Like, <laughs> yeah, it was about 20. <laughs> I still haven't opened up everything on our deed, but... Um... From what I've opened up, I got, got we got time. we got our uh, we we did get an utmost iron, which is very lucky. Uh, we did get which is good copper and tin. Just good enough to make bronze. Yep. You feel like we're going the right way? Yeah, this was that long entrance. All right. Looks like we're doing good. You sure you saw marble? I. It might have been rock salt. Maybe I didn't. Maybe it was rock salt. Because I saw yeah. rock salt and thought it was marble, but then was disappointed. <laughs> Yeah, maybe I did the same thing. I feel like we're getting close. So now would be a good time, I there think, to go. talk about um, what you think about Buddha's dead blog post. Oh yeah, so they said that they were going to start doing these dev blog posts. Mm. Along with dev streams. And with dev streams, which are on the way, I hear. Yep. Uh, so excited. I watched their their test stream where they were testing all the stuff out. Mm. Uh, so it'd be nice to see what, what... It would be nice to know when that starts. But I guess the dev blog came out really quickly. As part of the news update, something similar? Well, the news update um, came, and then they said that Budo would be working on a dev blog post, and then the dev blog post came out shortly after. <laughs> so, yeah, so what, what exactly did he say in a nice blog post? I mean, it. why is your um, cart named Old Fat Buddha? <laughs> <laughs> is the real question is <laughs> how did it take you so long well, <laughs> to realize the name of my cart I knew it was wait that's not the right way I think it's this way all right I'm following you um I I noticed a while ago it was named old fat Feyran. Mm. well talking about buddha he made a dev post yeah and what exactly did he say in it so it it basically outlined that they're going to be moving to a slightly different release cycle for their updates currently mm -hmm. or you know for a while now they've been on a bi-weekly update so every other week we'd get an update and that update could be big or small most of them were small they involve like usually bug fixes or you know 
Just small minor things, mostly. And then every so often there'd be a big one. Um, they're going to be moving to a cycle that they, they feel makes a lot more sense for them. Um, and it's one where they'll be doing, they're switching to monthly updates, which mm. again are going to be small updates, but I'm guessing that they might be twice as big as the more recent, like as the way they used to be, you know, they'll just be releasing them less often, but I don't think that, that it means that they're going to be doing less work. Because like what he was saying so, was that like it just makes it so that each one isn't going to be empty, like some of them have been. So if I'm from hearing you correctly, you are saying that they are going to take the smaller updates and clump them together into um, like larger updates mm -hmm. that are going to be less frequent right where did i hear that be suggestion before <laughs> right this, this was a suggestion we had made i don't know how long ago i am not you know <laughs> claiming that at some point, they remembered the episode, whichever it was, Oops. where we mentioned that. Right. <laughs> Trying to remember when <laughs> that was. I'm pretty sure we were building either the Labyrinth Ooh. or Linton. What would it remember. take to get, to get a statue of the eagle? A statue of an eagle is an archaeology. Is that archaeology? I felt like it was... I Beast. really want to get into archaeology more. I really do. Mountain lion? Yeah, we'll get there. Yeah. <laughs> we'll get back there. Nice. I had just... Anyway. Oh, hey, his Izameth. Good morning. Yeah, good morning. Where, where in the world is it morning? Everywhere that it's morning. Australia? Um, New Zealand. New Zealand. Australia. That side of the world. Okay, UK. Yeah. UK. Well, I guess it's very wouldn't early it, morning in UK. <laughs> wouldn't it be like three o'clock in the morning yeah. or something? <laughs> Maybe four. Three thirty. I'm guessing three thirty. Yeah, three thirty. There you go. Yeah. Three thirty. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So you were saying? <laughs> what was I saying? Oh yeah, Deb. I'm hoping. Blog. Yes. Um, yeah, so Buddha. So yeah, we we mentioned we mentioned that it would be great. There, there, and we listed a whole bunch of reasons. This is why we think that Worm should compress the small updates and save all of that stuff for a big update. Here are the pros of doing this. Mm -hmm. And uh, and now they sort of like this dev blog, basically is saying that this is what they're going to do. Yeah, and I, and I think that it's based on, like, their situation currently in terms of the number of devs they have, in terms of how often they're able to release, you know, new content. Um, right. It also addresses the issue of they release an update and then inevitably that update has bugs. And so they have to spend the next little while fixing those bugs. And, and what they were finding was that they would spend you know, release an update, fix all the bugs, and by the time that they fixed all the bugs, they had to release another update to stay on schedule. And it just was like, I think a bit too much. So, yeah. Is it really after midnight in Eastern Canada? I guess if you're in Newfoundland. Where would you have to be, like in Newfoundland? Yeah, yeah. Like <laughs> Newfoundland's like an hour and a half. An hour and a half, yeah. It's exactly ahead of us. an hour and a half, so. And it's currently 10.30. Yeah, Newfoundland, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Graspy. Graspy, are you from Newfoundland? Or are you just randomly saying that in <laughs> it is past midnight? Fun fact. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
Yes, indeed. I'm not sure if that yes, indeed is nice. that you are from Newfoundland. Never actually visited Newfoundland. I think it's one of the only provinces I never went to as kids. Uh, I don't know about that. Pete. One of the? One of the. <laughs> I don't think we, we, I've ever I mean, been we went to a lot. We just don't think I've never been to, been to a PEI bunch. either. Well, never been to Saskatchewan. PEI is one of those tiny little Never ones. been to PEI. Live in St. John's. Uh, okay. Confused with St. John. Right. Which is in. I can't even remember. Was it? Is that the the Nova Scotia one? I don't know. New Brunswick. <laughs> one of those ones. <laughs> I'm saving up my New 90, Brunswick. 90 <laughs> quality cochineal. Nice. Okay, so. Titch Memorial was awesome. Yeah, wonderful. Um, I'm glad that we we have to remember that we put those flowers down. Yeah, we should mention that to Willow next time we see her. Yeah. Now, for the actual goal for our deed is to build a dioptra and... A range pole. And a range pole. We have agreed... That Adam's gonna build the dioptra, I'm gonna build the range pole. Uh, and we, we decided that by uh, <laughs> doing. Uh, <laughs> it really does only make a, a sense. A legitimate. <laughs> Rock, paper, scissors. <laughs> <laughs> it was more of like a first come, first serve. Sort of, yeah. Uh, <laughs> With a no take back seat stacked <laughs> onto the end there. Right. <laughs> when you scream the wrong name. Right. Uh huh. <laughs> I guess it makes sense that I do the dioptra. I, I guess so. But with that in mind, I am going to get myself another drink. All right. I'm going to try to find a cloth. Because that's what it'll take for me to do this metallurgy. Because, man, that is a painful, painful thing to do. What am I doing? I want to get Metallurgy. This, this forge started, light it, and then I'll go get my drink. Is a range pole a specific wood type when it's created? Uh, probably. We don't have any oak, unfortunately. I'll just make out a willow, just because it's cool. Okay. I, yeah, I really don't think it's going to make much of a difference. Has anybody here finished the last journal entry yet? I have not. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I will be Here's right question. back. Does anybody you, you know? Does anybody know what the last journal entry rewards would give you? I'm guessing it's listed. I'm not even close, so I don't even see. In saying that, I need a staff, a square piece of cloth, more square pieces of And there is a cape. No. There's really a cape? No. Really? Did they finally put a cape in the game? I don't know. Ooh, I do have square pieces of cloth. I'm gonna take some of that. Create a range ball. And we really don't have a lot of stuff since we dropped everything. Um, the reason why I wanna create, I mean, we wanna create bridges, obviously. Uh, I have a number of bridges that I want to create, even in the first building that I'm making. Oh, there we go. Just sort of one of those things that we have to create. I am back. Hey. So here, according to the wiki, mm -hmm. the reward for the final 
journal entries, a master title, 10% more affinity windows, a master cape. Yes. And six hours of sleep bonus. I have heard of this. So what is what is a master cape? What is a master cape? It is actually a cape, from what I understand. No. Yeah. No. Yeah. No. Yeah. What? Yeah. There was even a picture so of it somewhere. So they finally got around to adding a cape. Let's see if I can get this picture on the stream. And it's only from journal entry. Let's see here. Now somebody posted the picture of it. It wasn't officially posted. Um, I'm assuming that they finished. But they posted it in a way of that they were complaining about it. Which is another thing that I wanted to talk about uh, <laughs> regarding the dev blog post and also this um, is just the sheer amount of complaining that's been going on lately. There's been a lot of complaining. I mean, if you read the response to the dev blog, they had to they had to close that thread. Like they they locked the thread at some really? point because it was getting out of hand. Um, what are people complaining about? I mean, people were basically crying out to be updated about what was going like what are the current plans what's the roadmap um why are you reducing the amount of updates uh i don't know let well, me see think about this they announced a whole bunch of stuff even not i mean a while ago but stuff that still hasn't come out so i guess plans have changed Mm -hmm. So let's say, for example, they announce well, the UI update, they're, work, they're thinking of working on it. It's far off, but they're kind of laying the groundwork and this stuff. Uh, after they announce that, do you feel that there should have been another update? regarding that or are we just waiting like another update about what the so let's say update so let's plans, say they, like the they, roadmap or what what do you what do you think for for this uh, UI update so they announced this is what we want to do remember th this is when warm unlimited came out oh like way back saying, we gathered information and one of the things that we want to do is replace the UI okay that was like a long time ago. Right. Long time ago. Yeah. Uh, this is this is the plan. The plan, it, like they laid out a somewhat of a roadmap. Okay. Not really a roadmap with timelines, but roadmap in this is what we want to work on. This is why we want to work on it. Right. We want to work on UI and like a bunch of other stuff. I can't remember what they said at the time. Maybe like graphics or something. And. We want to work on it because in Worm Unlimited when it came out, we got a whole bunch of feedback and this is, like we discussed it, and this was the, the top whatever five things that we feel would help the game out. And then if something has changed, so for, I guess first they announced it, do you feel that it was smart for them to have announced that? Right. Um, that's a good question. Here's the thing. I don't think that it's... I don't think it's a matter of that they announced it. It's mm -hmm. the way in which they announce it. Right? So like in they, what way? They announce it in a way that makes it feel like it's coming. But... Well, they, uh, know they might have even said something like it's it's going to take a long time. Yeah, yeah. I kind of remember hearing like UIs like right, years right, away. Right, right, right. But, but, but like if if instead of announcing like offhand, we are working on UI, and then later they announce offhand that they're working on a cash shop, which is another one that 
Oh yeah, yeah. Right? Like that. right, like like they in their eyes, like in their mind, they know the timeline for this. Like they think we're working on the UI. It's going to be a two year project or, or whatever. Like in their mind they have an idea of how long it's gonna take. Mm-hmm. But but when they announce it, there's nothing about the plan. All it is is there's gonna like a, we're gonna be working on UI, and then you know months go by and people remember like hey months ago they mentioned that they're gonna be working on UI, but it's not in yet, right? Like so then they think oh, okay what are the devs doing? Um, but I think that if instead they had sort of a overarching plan laid out that was sort of transparent, you know, with timelines and. And, and what happens if the timeline changes? Right, right. And if the timeline changes, then that's fine. Then a who's then a dev blog plan that is it to update that. A, like they're talking about like having these regular blog dev dev blogs, dev streams. Like these are perfect avenues to be discussing like the progress. You know, like it could be that they they intended to work on UI, but then all of a sudden like you know things started happening and like. You know, they had the indie independence, like had the issues with the server. They had to, you know, stop everything and work on that. Uh, there, there might be a technical issue that they're running into. There could be a design issue that they're running into. And like all of this could be outlined in like regular dev blogs or dev streams or something like that. Like as long as, as long as the player base knows that the devs are working on stuff, then I feel like everything would be fine. I feel, okay, so... Um, well, let's just use this example uh, of, of the UI. So they, they, they announced the UI, they announced the cache, and, and uh, mm-hmm. things don't work out, let's say, I'm guessing. And it makes the devs feel like maybe we shouldn't have shared this because people keep asking right. us about it now and, like... Uh, Maybe we need to become more private with what we are currently working on. Uh, do you feel like that's the right mindset? Would it help if they did become more private? I think it wouldn't help if they became more private. I and think why? it w- because because then people would feel like nothing's happening. You know, like if we didn't get the indication that they're working on UI and we didn't get the indication that they're working on nothing and we go months and months with nothing happening, it would give the player base the sense that nothing's happening. Even though it might be, it might be like busy in the back end, uh, it just nothing's being released. But if nothing but was there's nothing to announce and you know that it's going to... Right. There's nothing to announce, but, but, but there is something to announce that the UI is being worked on and maybe it's going to take a year to finish, but they are actively working on it. Like it gives the players hope that- How many times can you say, I'm actively working on the same thing? You can say it as long as it's true. Before people start getting just as mad. As long as it is true, I feel like it shouldn't cause any issues. Right? Like, if the reality is it's taking longer than we originally thought and it's not going perfectly as planned or, uh, you know, whatever the issue is, people would understand. I I understand where you're coming from. Let's take a look at this objectively. So let's say they're working on UI and uh, they get through the first... I don't know. Let's say six months. Okay. And six months. Now that they have this whole uh, dev block going, they make a dev post, and the dev post says, "This is what we've been sort of working on." Mm-hmm. You know, this aspect of the UI. These are our downfalls. These are what's holding us back. Yeah. Or like, here's why this is holding us back. Here's 
what we've done. And then they so they post that, mm -hmm. and then all of a sudden, they get tons of posts that say, "I hate the way that you're doing it." <laughs> well, okay, but at least those posts will be substantiated. You know, like at least the devs are being honest about what they're doing, and that person who posts that negativity, like, like go back to the drawing board. Right, but but here's the flip side of it. If the devs say nothing, and then that same exact person is going to say all over the forums, like, these devs do nothing. There's nothing being worked on. They're like, how are we supposed to feel hopeful that this game is going to even exist in a year from now when we're hearing nothing? Right, like that, the, the thing about the, the negative person is that that person is going to be negative no matter what the devs do. So, so another issue that I think devs have is being too public with, let's say, uh, of the exact exact way that something like, let's say, UI works, okay, or th their plans, and. Maybe they want to include the public, which sounds great. They want to include the worm community on the changes that we're making, and they want to get feedback on what they think the new UI will look like, using UI as an example here. Mm -hmm. And um, sounds great. And then the problem would be that everybody has their own opinion on what they feel like the new UI should look like. Mm. Who are the devs supposed to be listening to? I, How much of the community input should they be taking? To be honest, I really feel like the devs... Or should they be taking any at all? Right. The, de I, the devs shouldn't... Like, I mean, they should be listening to everybody. But that doesn't mean they have to take everybody's, like... Like they, they they should definitely not be trying to incorporate everybody's suggestion into the game. Like that would just be silly. You know, there's going to be uh, some sort of percentage of people that will say, "I don't want it to change at all." Right. Right. But I like the charm of this game. I like I got, I I spent the time. I got the UI. I don't want to have to learn the UI again. Right. You know, for whatever reason, whether it's selfish or not, then you have players that love the idea of changing it. Mm -hmm. I don't know. What would you say to the devs? So would... Like the devs gonna to come to you. Well, this might happen. Uh -huh. There's gonna be everyone's gonna have an opinion. Uh, you know, this is why I want to. Like, there's no reason for us to make things public. Right. We should not be saying. What would you say to that? Well, what I would say is that if they don't make things public, you're gonna still get the same negative people saying negative things in the same quantity. But the people who would normally say positive things won't have anything positive to say in response. Right? If the devs are quiet about everything and aren't indicating what they're working on and continue to release things in the way they've been releasing things, which is like, like sometimes they would release stuff into the game and then afterwards announce, oh yeah, by the way, uh, we released this thing that we didn't tell anybody that was coming. Right? Like... I even, I'm the type of person who loves looking at the positive side of things, but I even look at that going, wait a minute, how come we never knew this was coming? How come we never knew anybody was even working on this? Like you guys, the devs would have known that this was coming for weeks at least. And us players were left in the dark the whole time. Like why? Just why? Right? Like 
The people who would normally say positive things just won't have anything positive to say because there's nothing to say at, at that point. And the negative people will just say negative things no matter what. But in the, on the flip side, if they were more transparent, you know, then when somebody says something negative, then we could be like, but yeah, but the devs are working on this and they're working on that and those things are going to come. And if the track record, like if you look at the track record of this dev team, you know, they have been successful at releasing so many things in this game. Like, this game has come so far. Like, you cannot deny that if you compare this game as it is now to what this game was five years ago, like, it is like night and day. So... There have been a lot of changes. Five years is a long time. Uh, what? Lion X? Lion X sent me a rare seven. stone chisel. Ooh. Wow! Thank you so much, Lionix. And Dorian, I'm I'm guessing that was that is um, what was it? Uh, Ryder? Is it Ryder who was mm. sending us that compass? Yeah. So we got a yeah. We got a compass from Ryder. Thank you so much. And we got a rare stone chisel with 90, 89 wind of ages on it from Lionix. Wow. Thank you so much, Lionix. You did not have to do that at all. I think I might pass it off to you. Oh, Seeing really? Seeing as you are the <laughs> mason and we'll need it. Unless you want to be the mason moving forward. You know, unless, like, am I going to be the one cutting all the bricks? Because if I am, I'm, I'm keeping it. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Wait a minute. Oh, Wait a minute. Maybe it's, keep it for now. It says you can barely make out the signature of its maker, and the maker is me. <laughs> what? What? <laughs> <laughs> what? Did you ever sell a rare chisel? Or maybe just a chisel? Huh. Then became rare later. That is crazy. <laughs> Did you send a rare chisel to someone for imping and then forgot about it. <laughs> that doesn't make sense. Did you? I mean, you would have just imped it. Uh, it's very possible that it is. I, I mean, like I've sold so many things in the past. <laughs> I must have sold a rare chisel at at one point. Wow. And many many <laughs> other chisels as well. And I've cast it on things and it could even be that I casted that cast I have no idea but I definitely made this chisel because it's my signature on it <laughs> that's just awesome that's so funny well I can say this I have finished creating the range you have finished creating the range pole, and so I now, am... So well, now, like, where is this Dioptra? Huh? It is... You're, you're slowing down here. Nine, six seconds, five seconds. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. What just happened? I attached... I don't know. I attached... Oh, I need more shafts. Goodness. <laughs> I read that wrong. I thought it only needed one shaft. Let's see, it needs two more shafts, which I think could be found. Are there shafts in here? Nope, just planks. There are logs here. I feel like I we have shafts somewhere. I know. I thought we have shafts. Maybe they're in your cart. I bet you they're in your... In your in I one have one. I feel like they were down in the... Uh, bulk storage bin or up here in the bulk storage bin or something. I thought there was up here in the bulk storage bin, but there is not. Hmm. I don't think it matters what would I make the shafts out of. I, d I don't think it makes a big difference. Because I think it ends up being brass. None 
one down here. Did we just use them all? Maybe we just used them all. We might have used them all. Shafts are one of those things that we didn't really make too much of. Okay. Never mind. I do have 10 in my okay. heart. 10. <laughs> thanks for the many. Thanks for the bits, Ryder. Yeah. <laughs> Here we go. We got a range pole and a dioptra. Well, the dioptra's on its way. Nice, because I want to see. So, uh, I have this vision of bridges coming off of my building. Mm. This leatherworking building. I wanted to see whether it's actually going to work or not. There we go. Now, are you going to imp that dioptra? Do I need to? Well, that's a good question. Do we need to? I thought to? you said it was brass. No, I'm, I'm not, not the dioptra. I meant the range pole. Oh, I uh, I don't know if the range pole needs to be imped. Is it the dioptra that needs that benefits more? Or do either of them benefit anything? I'm just reading here on the wiki. You would think that if they inputted capes into the game, like they, and they, they figured out a way to make it, I don't know, functional in the game, or at least like not functional as much as I guess just in appearance it's functional. Uh, wouldn't they want to make it so that you could craft some? Wouldn't that make sense? Are you talking about capes? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. That would make complete sense to me. Like, let's look at banners, for example. Mm -hmm. So banners, we've got the, the, the clear white one that you can dye. Right. And they have... Like the kingdom ones. Okay. Couldn't they just take the graphics of those, turn it into a cape? Right. I agree. Yeah, they could do that. That like, they could also just make a white one and allow you to. Is that enough? Die them. For, yeah, yeah. The white one, even. Yeah. Like or the gray one or whatever it is. And, then, and allow you to dye it. And then, and then, you know, over time they could add more in the same way that they add more tapestries and that sort of stuff. Right? I wonder if they could... So you know how you can create uh, signs okay. where you can choose the icon, the graphic that's going to be on it, the shop sign. Right. Could they do that for capes? For like, let's say, a village. So a village okay. can pick an, a specific icon yeah, I see for their village. For a, for a price that you can unlock using the village system. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. And then your village could have a cape. That'd be really cool. How is this Iopra? Just, just thoughts. It's, it's working. Uh, yeah, Buddha. Every time he's on, he, he mentions how you can't go one episode without mentioning Listen. village update. <laughs> one day, I'm going to wear him down. <laughs> And one day we're gonna log in, and there will be a village update. The question is in place. The question is whether or not we will know that that update is being worked on <laughs> prior to it getting implemented. <laughs> well, it would be nice if they would tell us. We need to clip and this I'm little hoping... bit and just send it to Buddha. <laughs> <laughs> I'm hoping that. The, the 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 dev blogs will help. I'm guessing like the benefits of them could be that it bridges the gap between the developers and the players, so that it helps the developers out. 
in uh, kind of not only getting feedback, but uh, allowing the players to feel more at ease with the game. And then uh, it benefits the devs because they, they'll they feel more positive about what they're doing. And it benefits the players by learning and feeling more confident in the direction of the game. Mm. I mean, that is, that's something that these blogs can do. And like dev streaming could do that as well. I just hope that that's what's hap that's what's going to happen. I'm really I'm really looking forward to the dev stream. Like 100% looking forward to that. Me too. It'd be really nice. Okay, let's take a look to see if the range pole quality makes a difference. It says the maximum distance in meters between the planner and the helper is the pole quality multiplied by 1.6. And seeing as how each tile is 4 meters, mm -hmm. um, what? So how high would the range pole to be then? Let's see. Like, like if we wanted a, let's say a ten tile bridge, for example, that's forty meters. Mhm. Mm so you would only really need like a thirty-ish quality range pole for that, for a ten tile bridge. Let me just see here. I'm just going to do a quick calculator. Calculation. It would be forty. Yeah. So I the range pole I emptied to sixty-three. Oh, okay, so sixty-three is perfectly fine because um, we're not making like that many. <laughs> so we don't need a ninety quality. No. But the if I could even make one. See, the dioptra is a little bit different. It also has that same restriction. It's like the distance is one point six multiplied by the quality, and that gives you the meters, but. There's also um, the number of tiles that are on the bridge is the quality of the dioptra multiplied by 0.4. Mm. So let's say if it's a 50 quality dioptra and you multiply by 0.4, you can only have 20 tiles on the bridge. So if it's a two tile wide bridge, you'll only be able to go 10 tiles long with a 50, 50 quality dioptra. Which is, I think, more than enough for what we want, right? Yeah. We're not I think really going... Just need some small bridges, that's all. Mm-hmm. Okay, I just need to get some... Hmm. Almost want to do maybe... I have, a, I have a different idea now than I originally thought. Okay. Regarding? To save some space. I uh, wonder how bad it would look. What kind of safe? Say, uh, what kind of so, space? So, I mean, I'll, I'll show you how, how long I have done or I can try to plan a bridge. How long, sorry? Until that dioptra is done. I mean... Or is it done? It's 30 quality right now. Depends okay. on if you want me to go farther than that. Uh, no, bring, bring it up. Okay. I will show you sort of what my plan was. Okay. So I want to utilize the, you know, the building. I'm still trying to find that picture that somebody released of the of the cape you can't find it I can't seem to find it I don't know why <laughs> can anybody else find it was it in the news post or what was it where was it no okay let me bring this dioptra up to you. You want to already make a bridge? Like, there's a bridge that you have yeah. in mind. Okay. 
Oh, is it the I one out in the front? cape? But it's not an in-game no picture of the cape. It's not an in-game. It's a it's a picture of from the WOM. Okay, so here it is. Well, it actually looks really nice. It almost reminds me of like uh, the carpets or something like that. Oh, there's an age champion tortoise corpse here. Yeah. Let's see if we can get a shell off that. And I went to the place where I thought you would be, but you're not here. Here's the cape if you want to show it on the stream. Oh, it's under the rework journal. Whoops, that's uh, not right. So I'm at my building. You're at your building. Oh, you went to the front of the. That's, that's where I thought that you wanted to make a bridge. <laughs> it's like the no, one. I forgot about that. It's the one place where. <laughs> Talking about all the all the bridges I want coming off of my building. Okay. Okay, and let me just get to this. All right. So the so the cape. What do the capes look like? How do I come? I don't see it in that thread. Nope, it's not in that thread. Are you sure it's there? Yeah, it's a hidden. It's hidden. Oh, goodness. In one of the spoilers. <laughs> Gotta actually do read we, we need, this. What do we need, Hackett? We could use a beautiful worm theme streaming or overlay. There it is. I think Adam would be. <laughs> if anybody wants to make one. Oh, Hackett did make one for us. And oh, he didn't. And I did. <laughs> <laughs> I did get it from you. I just haven't had a chance to do anything with it yet. I did see that that you did send me them, and I looked at them, and they look good. I just have to spend some time with the with the stream and get it to look. Okay, so let me just next one. Next one. Yeah, the next one. Does this, is this doing it? Okay, there it is. So there's the cape for everybody to see. Now I'm yes. sure that once it's on your character, it won't look rectangle like that. Well, okay. that's just the flat image. That's just the flat image of it, right? It's like the texture or whatever. Yeah. I mean, it looks, it looks nice. It looks, it reminds me of like the carpet design. Yeah. Or a one of the carpet design without it actually being a carpet design. Uh, oh, I'd really love to see what it looks like in the game. Mm -hmm. Exactly. And Graspy, you, you got it just as I got it as well. So yeah. Yeah, so I, I don't really understand. Like, I don't feel the like the cape needs a rework. I just feel like the, we need more capes. Right? Just more options. <laughs> you might need to adjust the camera boxes. Notice that we both don't have the same size screen. Right. Same size camera That's image. One of you going diva a and problem. has a bigger image. Yeah. Why do you have a bigger image than me? <laughs> so I didn't notice yeah. that. It what's so weird is that uh, I guess I could crop one, but the thing is, is that the the image for me is taking straight from my camera, so it's giving the natural ratio. Whereas Brian is coming from a what do you call it? A window capture of Discord, in which I had to size the oh. box manually. Completely forgot that we were gonna try something other. Than today that's okay what's that <laughs> try what i thought that we were going to try something other than discord this time oh right yeah we'll, right. we'll have to do that next time <laughs> that didn't happen yeah. um 
Hashtag more capes. Yep. Yeah, the, totally. Now that they have it in the game, why not just like a generic white cape that people can create? Right. A generic white cape. Totally agree with that. Now that we can have be viable, the system's already in place. Just give something for a cloth tailor, right? No, like, nobody wants to be a cloth tailor. You got to give them some sort of reason to exist mm. to all those cloth tailors out there. <laughs> all right, where do you want this bridge? All right, so, so I was thinking from this side over the the fences to like here Duh. is that even possible the where i'm standing well, that's the question is it possible i think so you yeah, know you, you're you talking streaming about at 6 48 p.m. Never noticed that before. Yeah, <laughs> that's true. It's not a limitation other than my computer. Really? Well, I mean, like, I'm getting 20 I frames in the game. 720. Oh, is that uh, what it is? Okay. I mean, I have tried to. I was streaming lower, actually. There's a couple that I'm only streaming at 480. Um, hmm. well, I should probably start trying to I felt like 480 like I was doing pretty good so I upped it and it's not like you get to choose the resolution you you only get to choose the um what the do you call bit, it the bit uh, the bit rate the bit rate so I just upped the bit rate and whatever like like I felt I feel like it's not like my I don't even know why don't think my computer should be lagging like this. <laughs> yeah, fundraiser for Adam's PC or <laughs> or for Adam's network, right. <laughs> home network, uh, internet speeds. Now you're talking speeds. about from here. Yes. I don't know if from here we'll get over that wall, but maybe from the one above it. I hope so. If not, then what I was thinking was I would just raise the land in front of the the fence. <laughs> okay. So you definitely want one from where I'm standing, not from above that. Right. Cause I'm pretty... it, I want it to be, I want it to be, uh, wood made out of wood. Right. It says you notice that there's not enough clearance for a bridge to be built here. Uh... So like one thing you could try is getting rid of that wall building the bridge first and then seeing what happens. Cause maybe the bridge will create a natural blockage for the cows. I'm not sure it would. Would it? No, not a wooden one. Maybe. maybe. Uh... One thing for sure is that from one floor up, you'll probably clear that bridge or clear that wall. Yeah, that's too far up. Is it? Mm. Well, yeah, I don't know. So then I was thinking I could just raise the land off this bit. We could try raising the land. And then see what happens. Try it. So let's, uh, let's think. Yeah, pause my Game of Thrones downloads, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yep, unfortunately it has nothing to do with downloads. I mean, my computer is not that bad. Hey, Bloody Drongo. Hey. How's it going? Bloody Drongo, thank you for stopping by. My computer is not that bad, although I do like to play with all the settings turned up. And when I'm normally playing on my own, I'm getting 50 or 60, depending on what I'm looking at. Um, it's just once I turn on the stream, it just that, that'll happen. Drops it right down. Yeah. All right, so I'm going up ten. Okay. We'll try it again. Right. 
So if you're just joining in Two Drongo, we just, just made our first Dioptra and range pull with the help of um, Rider, over, over Rider here, who sent us a compass. Hey, over here. Now we're going to see if this is going to work. Yep. So this is the first bridge that we're planning here. We don't even have the materials for this bridge. And Brian... I just want to know if it's going to work or not. Brian over here has this crazy idea that we'll be able to get a bridge over this wall here. Come on, we got to be able to get over that wall. I don't think that we're going to be able to get over this wall. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I really don't think... We got to have this. It's going to check for... We got to get this. It's going to do a check for clearance at some point, and then we're not going to, it's going to, yeah. Did it fail? No. Uh, wait. Huh? What happened here? It worked. Everything's great. That's what happened. It worked. All right? It worked. Wait a minute. Get it. Except for... What? What? I have, I don't, I can't make it. Have any, any option for anything? What the heck? <laughs> Wait, what's what is it saying here? It's saying the south end of a bridge plan requires a door. Oh. Oh, is it because of the So it's because this it's because is a plan. Can you can you remove that? Did I, I <laughs> Oh no. Uh, there you <laughs> go. Wait, do you have to do no, that all over again? Do it again. How's your uh, how's your timer there? I'm fine. Okay. <laughs> There you go. Oh, we just needed just needed ten slope up. Ten slope. Oh, yeah. You? Yeah, it's a worm party. <laughs> yeah. A every worm stream, bridge party. Every stream feels like a worm party. Love That's it. Right. I love it. All right, I think this is gonna work. You think it's gonna work? And you just want a wooden one, right? You're not you're just not, a wooden one. None yeah. Of the fancy. You don't want a fancy. I don't want bridge. any fancy. No. Right. That's good because you can't have any fancy ones. Apparently, <laughs> you can have a rope bridge or a flat wood bridge or an arch well, wood bridge. bridge. No, I'll just get a flat. 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 Yeah, let's do flat. Okay. Let's see here. Uh, we can change the name after, right? I don't remember. Do you want me to name it something? Uh, I don't know. Just name it like the leather bridge. All right, I'm pretty sure we can change it after. Look at that, it goes right through the wall, eh? Sweet. It's like just at the bottom. And I'm hoping... The wall doesn't stick out? <laughs> no, no, I'm, I'm fine with that. Okay. I'm hoping that the, that the cow can still... The cow will have the front half, I think. I don't think the cow will I think will be... the back half will get, you know not off or for whatever reason yeah i don't know locked it's a good question it's possible the cow will only have the front half i think that that's a good compromise okay raise the land 10 on and so i want to do this on either side on either side that makes sense we don't have the materials to do it yet but that would be the plan right to make a bridge on either side of this building to lead up to the second floor. And then I was almost thinking, so your building's also going to have a second, right? Yeah. Wait, wait. The, I, the, the, the horses building? Yeah. I, I'm still in debate mode about whether or not I'm going to have a second floor. Oh, you're but still in, I thought you decided that already. Maybe. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so I don't know if you're going to do like one level up or two levels up. Right. Maybe like a, a raised roof, second floor, or more like what I did. 
I am not sure. I am not sure yet. I still have yet to decide. Or just a giant roof. <laughs> I don't like the idea of a giant roof, I'll be honest. I wish that we could have modular roofs so we can sort of choose how we want the roof to go. I guess that's true. I mean, just don't, just leave out holes. Right. That's the only way and to then do instead, it. Put like and flat. then instead put like, uh, yeah, put a, a ceiling. Yeah, that is one way of put doing it. Floor. I mean, if I make a second story on this thing, it's not going to be the whole thing. It's not going to be pieces of it. Okay. So I almost wondered what, if you do that, should I have a bridge from my building to yours? Hmm. That'd be kind of cool. Sure. I also was kind of like thinking that this land I, I to be honest the first my first gut instinct when i saw this building because i logged in and you had finished it whereas yeah. when i logged out the day before it was not there <laughs> <laughs> and so my first gut instinct was true. i wish you had moved it over one more tile really i wish there was three tiles in between because then we can oh. have a flat tile in the middle and either side could be sort of sloped a little bit but now as it is we're gonna need to slope one or the other and i'm not sure whether or not it's better to have it this way or should we have the flat one next to yours yeah should we just tear it all down and start all <laughs> over again no i i i still don't under like okay What's wrong with, with the way it is now? Okay, well, the way it is now, the flat the flat road, like you'd be walking yeah. along here, and then to get into your place, yeah. you're walking up this 20 slope tot. Like, it just feels sure. awkward, right? So the way it I'm is- I'm fine with that. The way it is now, I know you're fine with it. You're fine with almost anything. <laughs> <laughs> well, why don't you- But my do feeling I, is that, I, I, wouldn't it be nicer if this one was the flat? road and then to tell you the truth i was almost thinking that i was almost thinking to make it so that my building this level oh would i see what you're saying be a bridge to your building i see <laughs> that's what you were thinking <laughs> And this would be a path underneath the bridge. Okay, but in, in that situation, the only way to get into your cow pen from down here is to go around to this side. And you're probably going to say, I'm okay with that. So, <laughs> I'm okay with that, obviously. Uh, and, Unless, I, I mean... I guess you have that bridge that goes up there now. Yes. <laughs> yep, he had to grow up with me. <laughs> Every single day. <laughs> yeah, I am. I know. I, and the thing is, that I know that I'm a pain. I know that I'm a pain. <laughs> It's just, there's something inside of me that says, this just doesn't look right. <laughs> but, it, but it looks fine. great. I mean, it's great. The I'm okay with that shirt, t-shirt merchandise coming when. <laughs> and then I was thinking, okay, we can have a bridge coming out here to your level. Uh, and then I was trying to figure out ways. Maybe I could still have a door on this side leading into my building if Wait. I needed to. Where are you? No. And then, I mean, this is all depending on whether you're going to make a second level. Oh, I see over here. Right? Because I don't know. I see. Okay. I am, I am good with making a second level. I just, I just wasn't sure what to do with it, you know? 
Like, what would go up there? What do you want to go up there? Hmm. Just can't think of anything that I would want to go up there. Like, um, this is the horses, so there's hell horses here. And regular horses, and I was actually thinking of, like, another place for the sheep. Like, have a completely different place for sheep. Mm -hmm. um, well, you know what? So, this is funny, so the thing... Uh, dude, Jensen, having more emotes in the game. <laughs> the, I initially recorded emotes uh, with my voice specifically, so that maybe sometime in the future, if anybody, if they wanted more emotes, that I could just record my voice more. But it's been... Five years? Right. Is it five years now? It's been a long time. So it's been five years. You know how you like you. And then what are you going to do about the female emotes? And like my whole system's changed. Um, my voice, I feel like maybe has changed a bit. I... That's the problem. Even though it's still me. I feel like you might... cut out there just for a second. The... I feel like even though it would still be me recording it and it would still be the same person's voice, the new emotes might just have different, I don't know, a different timbre or a different sound quality or something that makes it sound like a different person. Mm -hmm. Or the best way I heard a sound described engineer, sound engineer, is that it ends up sounding like your evil twin or something. <laughs> It's like not quite you, but it's like it is you. <laughs> Give us a hell ho, how are you? Wait a minute. Hello, Come. how are you? Now you do it. Was that heard? <laughs> yeah, I heard it. <laughs> I thought that's what the, that, that that's what you guys wanted, right? Yeah, now you do it. <laughs> no. <laughs> There. Your your new title is Robust Hewer. I've never heard of that title. Hewer. <laughs> what is that? <laughs> Can anybody guess? Question. Can anybody guess what Hewer is the title for? I'm sure people can just go to the titles. Yeah, we could go to the wiki. <laughs> and the wiki and I am find confused. out. I've never seen what that. What do you one. think? Before anybody goes onto the wiki and yeah. finds out, <laughs> if you had to just make a guess, what skill would be would give you the title Hewer? <laughs> hewer would be like, isn't that like when you take a scythe and hew the yeah the shafts? Okay. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> Just Google the word hue. Uh, well, that, that I mean, sense. that'll probably answer your question. That makes sense. What it is? It, the answer is, it is hatchet. It's a hatchet. Hatchet. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, hue <laughs> is like the swinging action, right? So basically, I'm a robust swinger of hatchets. Mm. Which means I'm I'm good at wood cutting. You were somewhat correct, Graf. It did have something to do with axe like tool. Hmm. Oh, there you are. So hack it. I did see your message and but Brian was talking. Uh, you were saying to come over here and do a friend request. Yes, that's good. However, you can do friend requests remotely now by typing in slash add friend. And you can now add friends across distances. 
I think it even yes. works across yes. servers. If I'm not mistaken. Really? Yeah, I think so. What is your hatchet skill? The 90. Are you, it's did, not that high. You don't have the 90? It's not like pickaxe That's and mining where pickaxe always stays higher than mining. Yeah, it's not it's not it's not like that. <laughs> so weird. It's like such an inconsistent system. Let's see. Hatchet. So my hatchet is 60 and my wood cutting is 70. So yeah. It is a little bit lower. Yeah, my hatchet's in the 80s. But I feel like even if I got the tomahawk title I probably wouldn't use it yeah anyway so what did we do today we set out to I mean we went to the Titch Memorial mm -hmm. so I finally got to see that we learned why the uh, gnomes no longer play gnomes like they used to <laughs> And uh, we, we left a little memorial. You, you did uh, just, you uh, cut out there. I knew what you said, but I'm not sure if everybody okay. else heard what you said. <laughs> <laughs> we, we learned why gnomes no longer sing, sing songs. Sing songs, yes. Yes, sing songs. <laughs> <laughs> we, we went, uh, yeah, we, 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 we left a, a little bit of, uh, I don't know, a memorial a token flower pots for her token yeah so don't forget to tell willow next uh, time we I'll see have her to tell willow the next time i see her yeah uh, and then we wanted to build or at least give us the ability to build bridges because we've got a whole bunch of bridges that we're gonna create i mean you mistakenly thought i was thinking about the bridges that we need to create at the front of our village which obviously is the bridge that we, we do need to build definitely <laughs> need to build that one uh i'm yeah. guessing stone would be the best for that probably something yeah. like that anyway yeah uh yeah and i mean we did all that we managed to pretty much do everything that we want including uh talking about village updates so yeah, uh, once again, we really, really should uh, start thinking about that, Buddha. Right. <laughs> the village, yeah. the village anyway. <laughs> progression system. Yeah. The village <laughs> progression system, let's call it. <laughs> One thing that we didn't do and we do need to still do is gather our bulk materials. Because, man, we have, like, nothing. It feels so <laughs> weird having no bulk materials. And then with the prospect of having to make them all... That's something that we haven't had to deal with in a long time. We'll just so. have to do that. We'll just have to do that during the week. Yeah. yeah. Something like that anyway. Mm -hmm. Oh, and then I don't know. We'll see. We'll see, especially with uh, Hackett making, making, what, what did he make? Like a, like a, a so you cut You're you're good. Oh. It's getting really bad actually. Is it getting bad? I mean, oh, it's like... Maybe that's just a cue. A yeah, I know. It's a cue for in the future, we will try that new... Uh, that that new video conferencing system that I want to try. Right, yes. Discord has and been... And then we'll try... Discord has been just horrible Dis the last while for us yeah at least at least i'm like moving properly this time right I move my head. <laughs> <laughs> yeah i know it's it's not like we did yeah, anything we'll, to fix we'll it it's time. just that's like last week it's just was, discord it's bad yeah we'll 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 see how it goes mm -hmm. we'll see how it goes oh well, we'll, well we should test it sometime maybe this weekend yeah if we have time for sure. uh anyway so i think that's it for tonight mm -hmm. we'll keep playing worm Absolutely. And hopefully we'll see you guys in more. And hopefully we'll week. see a dev stream between now and the next time. Uh, that would be awesome. Give us something to talk about. Mm -hmm. I know there'll be definitely another work date. Yeah. Huh? Yep. All right, guys. Thanks for joining. We'll see you guys on the next episode. Take wait, care. Wait, 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 one last oh, thing. We, we keep forgetting this every single time. What we forget is to check to see if anybody is is streaming and to pass the torch on. So let's just take a quick peek.
We do. Let's see if anybody's around. I always do it like right at the end, and I'm like, Ugh. let's see here. <laughs> and of course, it's gonna go. Let's see who do we got here. Oh, there is a Nisua. A is streaming. So let's uh, pass on the torch to Nisua. You're gonna have to give me a second to do so because. You know what Let's I need to do? What, what he's up to. What I need to do is... Create a hockey? No. So the way I have it, I, we, we each have our own individual Twitch, um, I guess, accounts that we use to watch yeah. Twitch. So I have like everybody followed on my Twitch account. And then, but then we have like the Factional Fight Twitch account, which we never are logged into unless we're streaming. And... Uh, Unfortunately, we haven't spent the time to go around and follow everybody on this account. So that's what we need to do. We yeah. need to spend the time to follow everybody on this account. That way, I don't I'm have sure to go can do that. check my account to see who's streaming and then move over to the to the Factional Fight account to go do the raid. Oh, just let me see here. Okay, so Nesiwa. I probably not spelling that correctly. You wouldn't happen to have the spelling handy, would you? N A C C I W A. It is right. Nineteen sixty-seven. Nineteen sixty-seven. There it is. Nineteen sixty-seven. All right. So, until next week, guys, keep on worming and uh, give your love to Nisiwa as we send him, you know, send ourselves his way. All right. Take care, everybody. See you guys. We got 10 seconds for the raid. Goodness. <laughs> Why can't it be like press the button and end? <laughs> okay, here we go.